guys, this is the owner of 7DS uh, Black Interior. I'm going to show you how to manipulate the div layouts, this is especially for KK because I guess she's having trouble uh, fully understanding it. So I'm just going to make a quick tutorial. Um, I grab a pre made one from div layouts because the one that I have from MySpace is a bit too confusing for me to explain it to other people. I mean, I, I've been using it, and you know, kind of when you have something of your own, you know, even if it's confusing how to use it, but to explain it, it was just a pain in the butt, so I'm just going to use something, somebody else's, so that it should be easier for me to explain. Just bear with me, it's their layout, so it's kind of like, it took me, I had to re-record, um, because like 10 minutes of it, I was just like, oh man, this is just driving me crazy many billion somebody else's codes but it's this is my second attempt so I'm doing much better so again I'm going to credit them at the end of um, my recording and so the way that div layout works let me just update that so I could rearrange that is that everything goes by measurements you usually it's neg um, positive to negative but with div layouts there goes negative and then it goes positive which kind of like the sense that I knew before was uh, from left to right it goes negative into positive so for theirs it's the same concept from top to bottom so when KK I know she wants a top banner so I um, did that for her so um, they have different names for their layouts. Um, let me just show you. Like they have that and PD1. Um, so for me, I'm just going to call it Div1 because I like to simplify my life. So when I do that, I need a box. I need a box here. So. I go into my little cheat thing and I'm just going to cut and paste that and most of us our width of the top banner is 800 I know there's new designs out there for people that they're doing theirs like 600 and so on you could do whatever you wish to do so for her sake I'm just gonna do it this size so the top again um, theirs goes negative into positive so I did 120 and let me just show you what that looks like I should have picked different colors so that you guys could have seen it a little bit clearer but whatever so there goes the top banner um, and I know it says it has like that info thing because that's their um, you know their divider what it looks like so again that was on the top is 120 and then it positions from the left it goes I put it at zero which is here the left and I believe that's it for that box and now for the second box I did a smaller version of course and I did 300 by 250 and then I did the top 140 because this top right here this corner right here is 120 so the size of this box is 250 so if you add it up the negative into positive you know like when you're in in math class you know that timeline so it adds the positive into that negative you get that corner of 140 which is going to be right about right around here so let me just add that section section so you can see what it looks like
you see and that's about right around there and the box could, looks kind of big so I'm just gonna minimize it for a bit uh, let's do 170 and that could be like a navigation um, kind of box so I'm just going to see if I have their thing let me just copy this real quick and that's what it would look like a navigation box and so uh, let's see we are at six minutes okay we're good I'm gonna make another box and I think that kind of space is a little bit chunky so I'm just gonna go back and edit that real quick before I get into anything else uh, position top let's go 37 yeah that looks better so it, it looks a little bit neater so I'm just going to make another box for this position right here it's no longer going to be zero because you're going into positive so if the size of this is 300 I believe it was it's 300 so for the new position it should be I'm just going to call this tip 3 info box three and so 300 800 probably be about five eight wait it's film five four eight and let's leave the height around the same as the other box um, the top would be the same because it's from the same position of the second box the left, uh, let's see, 300, we're looking at positive about, let's see, 300, about 320. Let's see how that looks like. And I'm pretty, pretty close. So I'm just going to make it wider. Uh, let's go with. 490 and from the left let's say 300 a little bit wider So have to change my position. Should be three or five. It's kind of perfect, but I need a little bit more space here. Or I should change the height. I think I should change the position of the height. Let's go with 35. I know I'm kind of going a little bit fast, but then I'll explain myself. Okay, that looks about right. And let me just do this bold. See if their bold is a little bit clearer. No, but let me just go real quick. Let's 
Okay. So, basically, what I did, if I didn't see it very clear, is that I had to, since the other box was 300, you know, 300 plus 500 is 800, which is the top banner, but you need to give a little bit of space between the middle and then you have to position it so the box width would be 495 and the height would be the same as the other box um, and then the top would be around the same thing so once you do your boxes it should be a little bit easier each one and the same thing goes for the top it's just basically math you just have to add you know what if you did one box this you did the other box that and I am at 11 minutes. Um, so basically, that's how you manipulate them. You know, if I could go into depth, if you, you know, if anybody has any more questions, how to do other stuff. But um, that's pretty much it for the basics of manipulating them. Um, I know for in originally intentions for some ideas I had this cool thing where I did like an image you could do like a Photoshop um, image and you do the background this you know a certain way and then you could add boxes I mean there's endless possibilities you can do with the layouts it's just the pain in the butt is to do the basics of it once you get over that you know you could do so much with it it's not my favorite type of layout because it just a lot of you know manipulating but if you have the patience for it then go right ahead but the only thing that I suggest if you do the layout is that you must have a lot of information on your page I've seen a lot of people you know using these type of um, page um, layouts but their pages is pretty much blank or it's not filled in or they don't know what to do with it I don't know. To me, it looks tag, you know, tag. I don't know what to call it. It looks weird. So if you select one of these um, layouts, it best recommended that you have a lot of information or pictures or something. Otherwise, just use a regular um, page thing. Um, just a 401 tip, two cents, whatever you want to call it. All right. So I hope that was a little bit helpful for you guys. And if any questions, again, um, just ask my way. And if you wish for me to go into more depth about them or any other tips how to do it, I'll try to see if I can do a second part to this. Alright guys, have a good one.